Good morning, I'm Robert. Blessings and prayers to each of you. I know that all of us are feeling shocked and dismayed by the events of yesterday. Really disheartening, terrible. On the one hand, I'm surprised by what happened yesterday. On the other hand, I'm not really surprised. You see, yesterday was a manifestation of many things. Yesterday was an expression of the hatred that is happening in America right now. The divisiveness, the tendency to tear people down, the lack of an ability to listen to other people, racism and other kinds of isms. Yesterday was just kind of the fruit of where we've been as a country and what our leaders have been doing. On the one hand, I felt briefly hopeless yesterday. Today, I feel quite hopeful. And there's a reason I feel hopeful, and that is because God has given you and given me an incredible gift, and that gift is freedom. And you and I can choose to use our freedom every day. We can choose to use our freedom to speak how we want to speak and to act how we want to act. You know, one thing I love doing in life is being on a boat. <clears throat> And what I love about being on, boat, on a boat is that a boat leaves a wake behind it. And what's amazing about a wake is that it lasts. It just doesn't immediately go away. A boat can be long gone and there still is a wake going across the top of the water. In other words, boats leave a trail. They have an impact. To me, this serves as a great metaphor and an image for something for us to keep in mind. And that is that every day you and I, through our words and through our actions, in essence, leave a wake behind us, even after we're gone. We leave a wake in the lives of those we encounter. This is challenging, but it is also something quite wonderful. Because you see, you and I every day can make the decision to choose to use words that build up instead of tear down to choose to use words that reflect the love of God instead of hatred, to choose to use words, use words that build people up and make them realize how special and loved they are. You and I can act in ways that reflect such words. Long ago, Jesus had 12 followers and they changed the world by what they said and by how they acted. And that tells me that you and I can change our world too. We can change the lives of those immediately around us, and together we can shape the future of this nation if we choose to use our words and if we choose to act in ways that reflect the love of God. Let love be our guide, loving God, loving others, and learning to love ourselves. If love is forefront in our lives, if it is our guiding principle by how we act and what we say and everything we do, we can change this nation to be a better place. And for that reason, on this day, I am most hopeful. Love you all, praying for you all, and join me in creating a community of Jesus followers that changes the world for the better.